Hello YouTube. Today I received this in the mail, the Fury B Dinosaur Q95. Uh, it was provided to me courtesy of GearBest. I actually uh, won a contest for this one. And I'm going to be providing you today with a first impressions and an unboxing of the Fira B Q95. So, um, box looks like it's been banged up a little bit, but doesn't matter about the box. All, all that matters is what's inside. So let's open it up and see what's in there. All right. So let's see what we got in here. Nothing in the box. No instructions, it looks like. Nope, no instruction manual. Uh, but it does come packed in this really nice foam, which actually could be really useful for. Um, some other various RC projects so that's nice all right well let's see what's in here we got what looks like prop guards okay yep four prop guards um, and what else we got some propellers some extra propellers it looks like yep there's some extra propellers in there One thing I noticed right away, though, is this foam. It's a little hard to get it out of here, but uh, this is very well protected while being shipped. So it should be in really good shape and should not get damaged during shipping, which is always a good thing. All right, anything else? Um, looks like just the little drone itself. Let's see if I can wiggle it out of this foam. And there it is. Alright. Well that is all that's in the package. You got the four propeller guards and uh, the eight propellers and the little drone itself. Um, which, first impression, I really like it. I like the way it looks. It seems nice and light. It should be a really good flyer. I know um, this one's compatible with 2S and up to 3S batteries, and I'm going to be trying both. I'll do uh, a few flights with 2S. I'll try it out, and I'm definitely going to be trying with some 3S batteries and this should be a total beast on 3S batteries. It should be very fast. So. Alright. Now that, now that I got the uh, unboxing out of the way, let me um, talk to you a little bit about the, the specs and uh, what my plans are for this. So obviously it's a it's a racer and uh, so I'm gonna be looking to use this for some uh, outdoor flying not indoors uh, and probably try and do a little bit of acro and you know scare the neighbors a bit or <laughs> or maybe just the kids and um, so that that's what my plans are that and I'm going to do some mods to this, I think, first. Uh, nothing major. Uh, this is the plug-and-play version here. And so I am going to have to add a receiver. And so I'm going to add a receiver. That's nothing huge. And I'm going to remove this JST, replace that with an XT30. And the only other mod I think I plan on doing is... Um, I'm going to be replacing this uh, all-in-one camera. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with it. 
it's uh, I'm sure it's a very good camera and I, I will try it out um, with this camera but in the future I will be upgrading to a run cam micro swift uh, <clears throat> possibly I'll do the all-in-one route with it uh, and attach the VTX right to the back or maybe I'll just get a a separate little VTX. I'm, I'm undecided, uh, but either way, I'm going to be getting a Runcam Micro Swift for it. So now, as far as the specs, uh, this thing has. It says here. I'll rattle off some of the specs for you. It says it says that it's got uh, 3K carbon fiber, three millimeter thick arms. I'm um, looking at it. They don't look like three, but um, I will measure them and we will find out what else. Um, it says it's got uh, the 4-in-1 BL Heli S 20 amp D-Shot ESC. So D-Shot's nice. That always makes things fly really well. And um, 1104... 6,000 kV brushless motors, swinging uh, 2035 four blade props. It's got a F3 flight controller with integrated OSD, which is awesome. Having OSD on a micro quad is fantastic. And yeah, and the camera here is a 700 TV lines HD. C it says HD, uh, CMOS camera, 5.8, 72 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt, 100 milliwatt, and 200 milliwatt switchable VTX. Um, but again, I I'll try it, but I, I these little all-in-ones, they're good, but they're not as good as a Micro Swift, so I will be switching that in the, in the future. Um... And yeah, so let's let's why don't we measure the arms here to see if if these are three millimeter like they say. Let's uh, zero zero this out. All right, got that zeroed out. Let's see what the arms say. That one says 1.6. Here, let me try to zero this out again. One point nine. So they are not three millimeter arms. One point nine. So we've got two millimeters. It's a two millimeter bottom plate slash the arms. They are two millimeter, which is fine. That's certainly not a deal breaker. Um, with something of this size and, and this weight, two millimeters should more than suffice for strength. Let's see, what do we got? We got zero that again. I'm not sure. Saying one point. Oh, sorry, let me get that in frame here. It's saying 1.2 on the top pieces of carbon, 1.3. So I'd say one or one and a half inch for the top plates and two millimeters on the bottom plate. So it is not actually three millimeter, but that's okay. You can keep the weight down and it'll probably just fly better anyways. So um yeah it does seem pretty light why don't i weigh this for you guys let's get my scale out here uh, all right zero that out so it looks like 61.2 grams uh, that's without battery 
and again that's without a receiver because this is the plug and play version so but that's good it's nice and light so this thing should be really fast and f fun to fly so yeah looking forward to it in the future I will be doing a full review um, with the mods probably I'll review it after my mods are done and after it's up in the air and I've it's seen some actual flight time and it's all configured and whatnot in beta flight and um, that's it for now I'll leave a uh, product link in the description and until next time bye bye